lucky I was able to come up here in the first place. <sighs> oh, there's so many guards out there. <laughs> you wouldn't. You would like I had the excuse of bringing these hot pots of water up here. Probably wouldn't have let me in. Well, yes, I may be a maid, but maids work during the day. During the night hours, well, at least for my shifts, I'm usually asleep at this hour. But I suppose it was worth it to see you. I haven't seen you all day. Well, except when I woke you up this morning. And it's not like I could just waltz into your horse lessons or piano lessons or God forbid your bedroom. Your mother would have my head if she knew. <laughs> oh yes, she would and you know it. I mean, I'm I'm a maid, you're, well, much higher stature than I am, much higher rank. <laughs> you're a lord, I'm a maid. <laughs> Your mother would have a heart attack if she knew. <sighs> but I have missed you. I saw you today when I served you your lunch. I <laughs> just wanted to do nothing but embrace you, but alas, I couldn't. And you're lucky your mother didn't see you grasp by your hand underneath the table. <laughs> yes, it was in plain view. But Butler Cedric questioned me this morning because he saw it. You're lucky he can keep a secret. Sometimes you could be so reckless, but that's what I love about you. <sighs> Sometimes I really hate a meeting like this. I wish we could just be out in the open, but... Believe me, I'd love to be out in the open too, but we can't. No, we really can't. You know why we can't. It just... It's just not possible. Big, but your mother... Oh, Cedric, don't say those things. Oh, oh don't say those things about your mother. Well, yes, I, I know she's the reason why, but she's still... She's still Lady Clearwater. You know... I mean, I... Yes, I, I know. You're thinking of what? You got it? Listen, I... I, um, I don't know if we should tell her. You should tell her. She'll probably fire me and have me burned at the stake. Oh, yes, she would, and you know it. Okay, maybe not burned up the stake, but she'd find some way to do something to me. Probably soil my name for being the scandalous wench who'd... <sighs> tainted her child. Probably paint me as some kind of... I don't know. I mean, yes, I... She does like me, I suppose. Now. I'm one of her top mates, if I do say so myself. But that's only because she doesn't know that I'm seeing you in such a scandalous matter. <laughs> yes, it is scandalous. A maid in your room at this night is scandalous. I don't think you know what the definition of scandalous is, do you? I really haven't been good at your lessons. <sighs> Which brings me to my next reason, the next, I 
suppose, subject that I wanted to bring up, which was, I think it would be best if we were to just end this. No, I, no, I, you don't understand. I heard your mother last night. She's looking for a suitor and soon enough she will find one. He'll be wed and then, and then what? I, it's just going to hurt both of us. We just, it's just better if we end it now and at least be friends and I know you, lo I know you love me and I love you too, but we can't. It's just, no, we really can't. Your mother's serious about it. I said she was. I was in the room serving her tea when she was looking over the documents. I was frozen in my place. I almost overfilled her cup. I didn't know it was coming this soon. I knew it was going to come eventually, but. No, you can't. Your mother would never accept it. She would never accept me. I'm a commoner. She would never. I can't have you do this to yourself, Be for me. You could do so much with this. With, 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 with all the, the, the wealth you have, all the opportunities. You can't do that just because of a maid. Because of me. really do that for me. Well, I suppose if you're not going to give up so easily, I suppose I shouldn't either. I guess I just... I just... I was scared, I suppose. I mean, after all, First day when you told me you fancied me and had your horse lessons and that you wanted to join me for tea in the evening, I was rather awestruck. I didn't think that you were serious. I, I don't know. But then when I saw how serious you were, I was overjoyed and surprised. But yet. I thought some, I just, I thought it just wouldn't last, you know, because of who I am and, I, are you sure? I really don't want to, I love you too. Alright then, we'll do this for us. But how are you going to tell your mother? She's going to feel so betrayed by me. I mean, I'm her head maid doing all the tasks and waking you up in the morning. She's going to think I took advantage of that. Oh, you'll think of something, hmm? <laughs> you may be clever, but I don't think you're that clever. Your mother will I don't, I don't know how we'll tell her yet, but I suppose we'll figure it out in due time. But we better figure it out soon, because she's, as I said, already looking for suitors for you. And she's definitely closed in on a few. happy that you'll never let that happen, because I really do want to stay with you. You made me more happier than I thought I could ever be. Having this job already made me happy as it was. I mean, it's not every day that you get a civil lord. <laughs> but the 
has become much more than just a job, as you know. I never knew I could fall in love this hard. And just as you, I will fight for it. We just have to figure out how. But I know, I know we'll get through it. Oh goodness, the time. I was only supposed to be here for five minutes. But I was telling them I was fetching the hot water. I didn't say I was going to be... I mean, the task isn't supposed to take too long. If I'm gone for too long, they'll suspect us something. I'm sure they will. Ugh, Margaret is already suspicious of how, mu how much time I spend with you as it is, but you know, no one believes Margaret anyways. <laughs> I hate to go, but I really should be getting back to my room. But I'll see you in the morning, bright and early. <laughs> I am your wake-up call after all. You got piano lessons at eight o'clock, and I'll be there. <laughs> and maybe tomorrow we can figure all this out and how we're going to break it to your mother that you're having a relationship with the maid. <laughs> I will admit, I'm scared. But as long as I have you by my side, sure we can do anything. Hmm? <laughs> Sorry for saying all those things before. I was just... I don't know. I suppose I was looking out for you and for myself, but I should have considered the fact that it shouldn't matter. What matters is how much we love each other. <laughs> and I know, I know, but I really should go. Go with me. My lord, please. Oh, right, I'm sorry. I know you said not to call you my lord in private. Just habit, I suppose. But really, you have to let me go. I have to go back or they'll suspect something. Oh, I would love to stay, but I can't. Not today. Maybe there'll be a way I can slip away sometime this week, but... I do love you. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. I'm happy that we had this little talk. It put my mind at ease. I think it made me better.